Yay! And the sink, which is where I have to slide so you can see more up oh, this way. Let me adjust things a little bit. What is it? There we go. There we go, that works. Hi, Sunday, right? I think. I get confused. I'm gonna make sure no one's gonna call while I'm singing with y'all today. Yes, my Jersey friends, I did say y'all. I get used guys and y'all mixed up all the time now. I've been living in the South so long. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, today I wanted to sing a few songs that I've written about advocacy. Hi, Marla. Um, I'm doing a couple of songs that you always really liked a lot. I'm going to start out with Who Sings for the Children? Because um, they're such a very big, important part of what's going to become of our world. How we raise them, the things we teach them. Because remember, we're all born colorblind. Um, there are so many beautiful stories about the children that do not even notice that they're different colors. I, I have a story of, from when I was little about that. But let's sing Who Sings for the Children. And I'm going to play the background music even though I'm playing my guitar because there's a lot of parts in this where the children sing and um, I want you to hear their parts as well. And a shout out to Stacy Jackson who sings the ending part on this song. She has a beautiful voice, and now she's grown up um, using that voice professionally. I am really proud of her. Okay, here we go.
So um, I wrote this song back in 1999 for one of the um, Association of Childhood Education International conferences. We sang it there and brought all the children in to sing. And um, I was pulling out some of these songs today because of, you know, what's going on in the world right now and um, how important we as adults are, which is today why I chose my shirt that said, take a hand, touch a heart, make a difference. I mean, we, we make a difference with our children with how we behave and treat people. So this next song is called We Can Change Things. And Marla, this is one of the songs I remember you really liking. And hi, Rose. Um, there's another New Yorker watching there. Excuse me. <coughs> um, so this one, I'm also going to keep the music on in the background because it sounds so much prettier with the piano at it. But this is about how we can change things one at a time. And today's brain break is really more for adults than children. Um, and it, I always like to tell, you know, that's the story of the starfish that you're walking down the beach and you're picking up the starfish and you're throwing them back in the water. And somebody comes along and says, you know, there's hundreds of starfish on the beach. You're not gonna make a difference and you pick up the one in your hand and toss it in and say, I'm making a difference for that one. And that's how it is with how we make difference for children. So this is called We Can Change Things. Listen, my child, I have a tale to tell. It's a lesson you need to learn. Well, it's about helping others who are different from you. It's about the things people can do. We can change things. They won't happen again. Won't happen again. Except one another. Learn to be a friend. Learn to be a friend. We can help others, and they can change too. It's easy if you learn. It begins with you. A man named Hitler sent Jews away. The Japanese were put in camps at the Pearl Harbor day. Africans were sold as slaves, taken from their land. How can people be treated like this? I don't understand. But we can change things so they won't happen again. Won't happen again. Except one another. Learn to be a friend. Learn to be a friend. We can help others, and they can change too. It's easy if you learn, it begins with you. Some people walk with crutches, some move in a chair. There are people who cannot see, and some who cannot hear. People often turn away. Treat them differently. Our hearts and minds are all the same. Let's change things you and me. Sing along with me. We can change things so they won't happen again. Won't happen again. Except one another. Learn to be a friend. Learn to be a friend. We can help others. And they can change too. It's easy if you learn. It begins with you. Take the first step. It begins with you. Yes. You know, it's a lot of responsibility. But you know what? It really is all on each and every one of our shoulders. 
and we can make a difference. Now this next song is called Because We're Friends. Let me set my guitar down over here. Because I need to hold up signs for this one, so I'm gonna come in a little bit closer. This is a song I wrote that won a John Lennon Songwriters Award. And this is called Because We're Friends, and it's sung only by the kids. I'm not on this at all except to be playing the guitar. And it is something I wrote for the children to celebrate their differences and similarities and to be aware of the fact that of course we notice our differences. Of course you notice somebody's skin is different, somebody's eyes are different, somebody's hair is longer. Ha, huh, thanks Marla. Um, it's human nature, that's how the brain is designed. But what we can control is our reaction to them. And I recommend everybody reads Yo Yes to um, their children. And also look up my page on Facebook, Marian Harmon. I put up a list of a ton of books. I think there's a, maybe, well, not a ton, 26 uh, books that you can use today to, well, not just today, but every single day to help children learn to accept people of all races and colors. So we're going to sing Because We're Friends. And this is, as I said, only children singing. A lot of schools like to use this song for um, a graduation song. Um, I've used it myself in some of the schools I've taught at. So here we go. Oops, sorry about that. different one for that ending there. Where did I put that one? I guess I didn't run that one off. But I love that song and I love having the children um, sing it because they really get into picking the different parts and then um, I challenge them to look at one another and discuss you know, and, and of course it does bring up other things, like for example, on this one, my eyes are brown, my eyes are blue. Now somebody said to me, well, my eyes are green. Well, then we can add to the song. I'm a Christian, I'm a Jew. And I had a little girl say to me, I'm Muslim. And another little girl said, I'm Hindi. And you know what that did? That opens up conversation with the children. That you know what, all our families, Celebrate things differently. We're not all the same, but we still love being together. And that's one of the reasons why I chose music um, as a subject to teach with children 
because it is such a great equalizer. It brings everybody together. It doesn't matter what language you sing or what food you eat or where you go to church. It's just music. We all dance and sing and have fun together. Well, those were the three songs I chose for today, but I just thought maybe I'd end with the um, song we did a couple of weeks ago where we just sang about getting together. The more we get together, 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 more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause my friends are your friends, your friends are my friends. More we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we sing together, 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 the more we sing together, the happier we'll be. Cause my songs are your songs, your songs are my songs. The more we sing together, the happier we'll be. And the last time people started sending me suggestions of what else we could do together. Let me see. Hmm. The more we dance together, 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 the more we dance together, the happier we'll be. Cause my steps are your steps and your steps are my steps. The more we dance together, the happier we'll be. Does anybody have something else we could do together that makes us happy? <clears throat> the more we talk together, 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 the more we talk together, the happier we'll be. Cause my words are your words, your words are my words. The more we talk together, the happier we'll be. And you know what? Things are starting to get better, right? Soon we'll be together, together, together. Soon we'll be together and happier we'll be. Cause my friends are your friends. Your friends are my friends. Soon we'll be together and happier will be. Thank you for those of you that signed on today and thank you to those who watch later. Um, I will put this up on YouTube so you can share it and if you want to share um, our songs about how we can change things. You know, um, there's that saying that those who don't study history are doomed to repeat it. And even though these are not exactly happy times we want to share with children, like in that song it talks about um, what happened with the Jews, what happened with the Japanese, and what happened with the black people brought over from Africa. When we teach our children about that, then they understand and they can see the signs to help it from happening again. Hi, Connie, I was just finishing. You missed my advocacy songs, but you can come back and listen to it again. Um, and we're talking about something that I know you teach with all your little groups you do with families as well. So let's continue to love one another. And when we are loving people, children model us and they can be loving people too. I really believe in this world. I believe that we have the power to see what is wrong and take the steps to make things right. So right? Soon we'll be together and happier we'll be. Enjoy your Sunday. I'll be back on tomorrow doing sing songs that are more appropriate to all the children's attentions. But if I got just a little bit of some of your attentions today and let you pass these messages on, that would be a good accomplishment. Remember, take a hand, touch a heart, make a difference. Bye.